The Retirement Halftime Show. Maintain your lead in retirement. You're watching the Retirement Halftime Show. I am your host, Alexander Joyce. And with us, of course, is co-host, Alex Clark. This segment is interesting because um, we're talking about fixed income. And wh what I mean by that, what we mean by that, of course, is the nature of bonds. Now, um, a lot of people that we meet with say, you know what, I don't like bonds. Um, we just want to make sure that in our overall portfolio, a piece of it is safe. Right. Right. Or we don't want to be in, in equities 100 percent of our assets, which is which is uh, prudent. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, the question becomes, is it bonds we're talking about or is it the level of risk we're talking about in the overall market? Right. So let me just kind of start off by saying the last decade has been a little bit different. Right. Almost 11 years now because we've been on this bull run. And so no one wants any any sluggishness in their portfolio. No one has felt like, um, you know what, or I shouldn't say no one. A lot of people have either felt like they've been sitting on the sidelines too long or a lot of people have been kind of expecting in a cash position, expecting uh, the market to fall. To go on sale, yeah. To go on sale, if you would. And, of course, those that have ridden this thing up now have said, well, good thing I wasn't in any type of fixed income position. So I guess... What I want people to understand and be knowledgeable about is not just the risk that they're taking overall in an equity position, but how interest rates also play a role in your risk as well, Yeah. right? Risk versus reward. The simplest way to say this is that there is an inverse relationship, as you know, between interest rates in bonds. Do you want to kind of add on to that a little bit? Yeah, for a visual, it's kind of that teeter-totter effect, right? As the uh, interest rates go down, the bond prices go up. Okay. And as interest rates rise, the bonds go down, right? And if you're looking at that historically, right, we've been in a really interesting position outside of what you said the past 10 years in the bull market, but we've also seen interest rates coming down for that duration. Yeah, we have. Yes, we have. And, and in fact, if you look back um, 40 years, it's been it's been that interest rates have been declining. Yeah. And um, it wasn't until a couple several years ago where interest rates hit rock bottom and we thought we were going to go negative. Mm -hmm. Right. That was the story then. And now we're in this very interesting interest rate environment where the Fed has raised rates a little bit. That's had an impact on equities. Right. Yeah. Um, rates go up. Equities go down. You know, so does so do bonds, as you said. Equities go down, bonds fall, rates come down, bonds go up. So I think that it, the, the the tough thing to do is for people to understand what are the alternative ways to have fixed in, income in a portfolio. Sure. You know, one thing that's caught storm is annuities in a conversation like this, because you have you have this fixed income um, type of position in an annuity. Right. Um, certainly not a security in, 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 in many fashions unless it's variable, but it but it has its place sometimes in an overall uh, portfolio in a fixed income position. Yeah. One of the individuals that I'm a big fan of his work, uh, Roger Ibbotson, yes. uh, economist, yeah. and um, he actually created uh, which is called the, for Nationwide. I won't get into the story, but the Zebra Index, his work is phenomenal. I followed it for many years, have seen him speak. Um, and one of the things that he said, being a, a philosopher in terms of studying bonds for decades, many, many years, most of his career, he said that an alternative fixed income position could be, again, not recommending this, right, right but just kind of following this work, if you would, could be some type of index annuity because you have the potential to hedge long-term inflation, right, with a floor of nothing. So you're not taking any interest rate risk, if you would, and your market risk is, is basically nothing as well. So I think that that's a conversation that should be had or something that should be considered. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, there's a lot of other guys out there that have done a lot of research. Tom Hegna, sure. uh, Wade Fowle, sure. uh, Dr. Wade Fowle. I mean, they've all been looking at these bond replacements, if you will, yeah. because of the interest rate environment that we live in today. Could go up. Yeah. Goes up, bond values fall. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and clients shouldn't be in a position where we're saying, well, we're still going to recommend bonds or there should still be bonds in your portfolio, even though they'll fall as interest rates rise, they won't fall as low as equities. To your point, right? I think the, I think the 
right thing to do is tell the story, educate the client, sure. and make them, let them make the informed decision on what they think is right for them. There you have it. There you have it. So, uh, so I think that the takeaway, uh, most importantly, is understanding what your total risk tolerance looks like. If there should be fixed income in the portfolio, at what level of, of what portion should that be in exploring alternative ways to provide that, in, that fixed income in security? And I think the best way to get that is to give us a call and understand and provide information to you so you can make an educated decision, as you said, Alex. Hey, um, stay tuned. We'll be right back. The Retirement Halftime Show. Maintain your lead in retirement. There's some things in life we can always get back. Money, that's one of them. But time, that can never be replaced. Your kids, grandkids, they don't care how big your house is or the type of car you drive. The time they spend with you, that's what matters most. Allow us to help take your financial concerns away so you can enjoy the more important things in life. Call us today at 317-903-9157. Schedule a no-obligation visit and rejoice in your retirement. I'm Alexander Joyce, President, CEO of Rejoice Financial. Getting the education you need for a successful retirement is key. That's why I've written my second book, Rejoice in Your Retirement, Everything You Need to Know to Get Everything You Want. The book covers topics like identifying the income gaps, new ideas for investing, taxes and retirement, your legacy beyond dollars and cents, and much more. I've written this in an easy to understand format so that just about anyone can get the most out of it. To get a copy of Rejoice in Your Retirement, everything you need to know to get everything you want, you can go to Amazon. But if you're one of the first callers, you can get a complimentary signed copy of this book just by scheduling a no cost, no obligation visit. This book is packed with information that will help you get the most out of your retirement years. If you want to know more about successful retirement strategies, then call now. Education is key. And let us help you rejoice in your retirement.